close your eyes, watch your breath. The breath comes in, the breath goes out, but you want to make your mind still as the breath goes past. The image they give is of a post at the edge of the sea. The water rises, but the post doesn't rise. That's if the post is firmly planted at the sea, at the edge of the sea. If the post is not firmly planted, then when the water rises, it, it's lying there on the beach. It just gets blown up by the waves and then blown back down again, back and forth, back and forth. And it's in danger. It gets split on a rock or it may cause danger to other people. The waves wash a post up on shore and break somebody's leg, break somebody's arm. This is the nature of a mind that doesn't have a firm foundation. It can harm itself, it can harm other people, all because of the ups and downs of the world. Like today, it's much cooler than normal, and they're saying in a couple of days it's going to be hotter than normal. Okay, the coolness and the, hot and the heat, those are things outside. Don't let them come running into your mind. You've got to keep your mind firmly planted right here with the breath. When the breath comes in, let it be comfortable. You can do that much, but otherwise just be right here. Don't let the ups and downs of the breath or the ups and downs of the world outside push you aside. You want to be firmly planted, because when you're firmly planted, then when the time comes to decide what you, what you should say, what you should say, do, what you should think in a particular situation, it comes from a more solid foundation. It's less likely to be harmful, more likely to be circumspect. The right thing at the right time. So try to make your mind as solid as a post that's firmly planted. The image they give in the canon is of a post that's half planted down in the ground and the one half is up above, above ground, so really firmly planted. The winds blow and the waves come, but the mind doesn't get pushed around. That's the kind of mind we're trying to develop.